Alright guys, I'm here to talk about Nikki Bella's Road to 300. I just had to get this off my chest because, you know, I've been hearing so much about this and I'm here to just put in my point of view. Don't get me wrong, I'm not bashing no Team Bella fans and I'm not bashing no one else. I'm just giving you my intake. So here it is, check this out. Do I believe Nikki Bella should be the one to be AJ Lee's Longest Divas title reign. No. Uh-uh. Nope. Uh-uh. I don't think so. Why? Don't get me wrong. Nikki Bella has improved in the ring, but she don't deserve to be the one to be AJ Lee because I, I got respect for the Bellas, but I'm going to tell you something. The Bellas is not as good as WWE makes them seem. They made w WWE makes Nikki Bella look like she one of the best Divas on the roster. Hell no. Hell no. She's not even close to that. Let me check let me tell you. Let me check this out, Lee. AJ Lee, when she fought Nikki Bella for the WWE Divas title at Survivor Series last year, AJ Lee was already fighting injuries. Like any great champion would, she was fighting injuries. So WWE was like, you know what? We gotta drop the belt. So they gave it to Nikki. Which Nikki was coming up as a top heel in the company. And Nikki was the only top heel at the time. So they wanted to take the belt off of Babyface. Because remember, AJ was face at that time. And they wanted to put it on the heel. Cool. Well. So then, AJ Lee gets her rematch like anyone should. And she loses that at TLC. And it was because, like we said, she's hurt. And WWE wanted to give her time off. They wanted her to heal. So AJ Lee leaves the WWE and she's gone for a while. So Nikki starts her reign. She starts feuding with Paige. Okay, cool. So AJ Lee comes back at WrestleMania. She, her and Paige defeat the Bellas. AJ got the win. So let me tell you. Right there, it was supposed to set up AJ Lee versus Nikki Bella for the title. And AJ Lee was supposed to beat Nikki and become Divas Champion for the fourth time. So AJ was going to get the belt back. But AJ Lee decided to retire. She was like, I want to retire. So they kept the belt on Nikki. So that's one thing. If AJ Lee would have never retired, Nikki Bella would have never got close to beating AJ Lee's title reign this year. Not even close. So here's the thing. So with AJ gone, the WWE got butt hurt. They got mad. They got upset because, you know, AJ Lee left without telling them. She retired without telling them. So they was mad. Like, Vince and Vince, oh, great. We got to come up with a new plan. So they didn't want to give the belt to Paige, even though we all know, unless you just really don't know, Paige is a way better wrestler than Nikki Bella. If you think she's not, then, you, like I said, you it's your opinion. I'm not going to poop on you, but you got to do your research. But the thing is, Paige would have beat Nikki and could have went to beat AJ's run. But the problem is, Paige had too much under her belt. Number one, she had to leave to go make that movie Santa's Little Helper with The Miz. Number two, Paige is already a two-time Divas champion. Paige is already the first ever NXT Women's Champion. And Paige is also the first diva to hold the NST and women's title at the same time. Nobody else has done that. Nobody. So Paige, only, what, 23 years old now? 20, what is it, 22, 23? She got so much under her belt. So, of course, she's not going to be the one to carry the streak. Then the only other diva you had at that time that they was trying to push was Naomi because... Natalia was off with Tyson Kidd. Tamina was hurt. So, come on. So, Natalia couldn't be in it. So, Naomi was the only one left. And Naomi, she's a great athlete. Don't get me wrong. She's a, she's a pretty decent heel, part of Team Bad. But the problem is, Na Naomi wasn't getting it over with the fans, man. She wasn't getting booed or cheered. She was getting no reaction at all. And see, in the WWE, if you don't get no type of reaction, not heel heat, or face cheers, you're not going to get pushed. They're not going to put the belt on you. That's just the way it goes. So, 
Of course Naomi wasn't going to get the title. She wasn't going to get it. So, at that time, like we said, we only had three Divas. They weren't going to give it to Bree. Look, don't get me wrong. I think Bree should be Divas champion. Because Bree, to me, Bree's more out, more high risk and more quick on her feet than Nikki. But they don't want to break the twins up. They don't want to break them up. Because, obviously, we all saw when they were feuding. It was just it was terrible. Just, just terrible. So, they don't want to break the Bellas up. So, like I said, you only got three Divas. You got Nikki, you got Naomi, and you got Paige. Who are you going to put the belt on? And like I said, you're not going to put the belt on Paige because she got too much under her belt. And you're not going to put the belt on Naomi because she ain't getting no reaction from the crowd. So Nikki got to keep getting the belt, keep getting the belt. Well, you know. Then you got NXT. You got Sasha Banks, the boss. To me, the best diva in the WWE right now, besides Charlotte. Becky Lynch, one of my other favorites. Bailey, another one of my favorites. And Charlotte, you know, I like all four of the horse, four, four horse women in NXT. But the problem is, WWE didn't want to bring them up yet. So, they're like, okay, Nikki going to be the one to beat the streak. Nikki's going to be AJ Lee's streak. Which, like I said, I think is stupid. Because, number one, WWE, like I said, WWE butt hurt. Number two, we all know why Nikki getting the title. Come on now. Her boyfriend's John Cena, the man who's a 15-time world champion. The man who... He don't even got to win no matches, and he get a title shot. That's the truth about John Cena. I'm not hating. I'm just telling the truth here. So, Nikki Bella don't have to do nothing. Like I said, Nikki Bella, to me, Nikki Bella's a paper champ because I feel like when she won it the first time when AJ got hurt, she 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 was proving herself like, okay, she's a pretty good champ. She worked on her in-ring ability. Cool. You know, I respected that. But now we all know she's just holding the title because they want her to be AJ Street. And they can't put it on nobody else because if they put it on anybody else right now, then they got to start all over. So they want to erase AJ Lee's record from the history books. So they got to keep it on Nikki. So for anybody who thinks Nikki's a greater champion than AJ Lee, you're wrong. I mean, I'm not going to say AJ Lee was the best Divas champion ever, but you got to look at it like this. AJ Lee could <clears throat> AJ Lee could wrestle. AJ Lee could sell moves. AJ Lee could cut promos. Nikki can't cut a promo if her life depended on it. She is horrible on the mic. If you think Nikki can cut a promo, then then like I say, you got your own opinion, but come on man, you gotta practice. You gotta look at it. You gotta think outside the box, not inside. Nikki can't cut a promo. I'll she can barely wrestle. Like, she got better, but she's not on the level of Charlotte, Becky, Sasha, or Bailey. She's not up there with them. They they are embarrassed her in the ring. And Paige, too. Like, if you really say let them go, they're embarrassed her. And that's why. Why do you think the Bellas in this feud, like I said, if, you, if you're if a real fan, wrestling fan, you'll pay attention and notice that the Bellas always, they ain't got that many moves, dude. When they're in matches like this, that's why Nikki taunts a lot. Because she wants to waste time. Because... She don't want to be exposed for only having like six moves. So, come on now. But the point is, Nikki's only getting pushed because they want AJ. She only still got the title because they want AJ Lee's record broke because she retired. And that her boyfriend is John Cena. And then also because right now she can bring in ratings for Total Divas, which no, I don't even know who watched that crap because I don't. They bring her in to just to get ratings because, oh, the Bella Twins got Total Divas. Look, they're the stars of Total Divas. They got the Divas title. Ha, ha, ha. Nobody cares. And then, like, a buddy of mine, shout out to Prince Jones, he told me the other day, he was like, man, I got, I know somebody, I know people that watch Total Divas, but they don't even watch Raw. And they're like, oh, Nikki Bella's that good. Like, what? Y'all don't even watch Raw or SmackDown or the pay-per-views, and y'all think she good because Total Divas... She got the bell on told you, but see, this this the problem. But yeah, like I said, man, this is my intake. I don't think Nikki should be the champ. I think if anybody should be her record, and I believe if WWE wanted to actually do it right, I would have it restarted, and I will have one of the NXT women win the belt at Night of Champions, which is probably going to happen, and have them beat this record, like Charlotte, Becky, or or Sasha Banks, the boss, beat that record right now, and I'll be happy with it. 
because they're actually real good wrestlers. They actually can cut promos, and they can do they can do something Cena really can't do right now, and that's um sell a move. So <laughs> yeah, I think they should be one of them should be AJ Lee's record, not John Cena's girlfriend slash she has the face that the company is looking for. Blah 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 blah, and. Like I said, Nikki, she a paper champ. She only the champ because WWE wants her to be AJ Lee's record. She really didn't earn it. They just said, hey, we want you to be AJ Lee's record because you got the look. You're the best looking diva on the roster right now, blah, blah, blah. Plus your boy John Cena. And we'll do anything for Cena because he's our golden boy. So <laughs> that's my opinion. So y'all believe what y'all want. Y'all think what y'all want. If y'all think Nikki deserves hey, that's y'all opinion. I got mine. I think she don't. So, peace out. Plus, I'm going to talk about this Divas Revolution later.